We rolled out at the moment, or we're rolling out at the moment, the latest generation of electronic interlockings here in uh, South Africa. And uh, the next step is uh, to overcome a uh, uh, safety gap, which is uh, a human interface. We have uh, the highest safety level on the track at the moment, driven by the interlockings, but uh, the interface to the trains are the driver's eyes. So the driver observes the signals, but who observes the drivers? So, and there is a technology uh, available which is installed on the trains and the technology observes the driver in that matter, the manner that uh, the speed, the overspeeding and uh, an overshooting of a uh, stop signal will be observed. The system has an uh, automatic reaction, that means when the speed is overshooting, the train will break automatically to that limit which is allowed and when he overshoots uh, and, uh, and the red signal and stop signal, the train break automatically to a full stop. So that is an increase of the safety and builds the safety gap between the track and the vehicle. The installation can be done as a retrofit uh, on existing trains, relatively easy. And uh, the technology we have here is a uh, proven technology, is a standard uh, developed in Europe. You can have it in, uh, uh, in different levels. So ETCS level one and two is, is that what uh, we uh, see here for the market in, in Africa. For a high density, we recommend ETCS level two. For freight lines, ETCS level one. ETCS comes together with uh, an uh, in-cap signaling, a safe in-cap signaling. That means in the last consequence, we could get rid of the signals. So the, the driver will have the information in front of himself in the cabin in a safe way. And that means that uh, uh, the theft and vandalism problem, what we all know we have here in that uh, area, will be reduced dramatically, less cables, less uh, equipment on the track, so less uh, vandalism.